Hello, this is uh, the folk singer. And um, before we begin this little session on developing uh, perhaps the easiest uh, double thumbing blues uh, guitar approach, um, let's make sure that we're in tune with each other. Here's my E. Recently tuned. Here's my A. Here's my D. Here's my G. Here's my B. And here's my E. High E. So let's look at the first part of this approach. We're going to begin this with an E7 chord that's not too difficult to make. Take your middle finger and pluck the fifth string behind the second fret. And take your forefinger and close off the third string behind the first fret, fret and that's all. Okay, so strumming all the way across sounds like this. Now to get that double thumbing, we're going to do a pattern of thumb on the sixth, then on the fourth, then on the fifth, and then back to the fourth. And between those, we're going to use the forefinger to pick just the third string. So it'll sound like this. And we're only going to play it once before we switch to an A7 chord. So here we go, we just go like this. And then we're going to move. But just practice it a bit first. Now we're ready to make the move. Because the uh, blues usually requires moving from the first chord to the fourth chord of a scale, we're going to choose an A7. It's not difficult to make. Again, you move your middle finger over to the fourth string behind the second fret and your ring finger to the second string behind the second fret just those two all right you can see them in the video here. And then you do a pattern of thumb on fourth, on fifth string, sorry, on fifth string, and then index finger on third string, and then thumb on fourth string, and then index finger on third string, and you just repeat that like this. If you wish to be a little bit fancier, you can add the middle finger on the second string, like that. Practice that, and then we would go back to the first chord that we already learned. There's one more chord that we need to learn, and that is the fifth chord, or what would be the B7. We can choose an easy form for the B7 as well. We can take the 
the middle finger the and put it behind the fifth string, second fret. Here it is. And then the four finger, fourth string behind the first fret. And then the ring finger, third string behind the second fret. Just those three. And we can play just those three with the thumb and then the four finger, third string, thumb, fourth string, back to the four finger, third string, and then so it's five, three, four, three. Again, if you wish, you can add some of these for a little uh, effect. But basically, it's just these three. Practice them, and then you'd move back two from the fifth to the fourth. those together into a blues pattern. For this blues we'll use uh, traditional 12 bar blues and uh, you might just take note of how many times we do each of these to get the 12 bars. We play the first E once as a measure like this and then we go to the A and do it once as a measure then back to the E twice, like this, one, two. Then we go back to the A and do it two times. And back to the E two times. These are all sevenths. And then the B we do once, the A we do once, and we do the E twice, and that's the twelfth time. If we want to go on, we might, instead of playing the twelfth one as an E, we play it as a B. So the whole pattern, just complete, will sound like this. Play them cause I ain't got nothing more 